Hey there folks and what's up? Welcome to this video. What's poppin? Today we're going to be reviewing the Dan Shrew. So I needed an mp3 player but I usually like to get Sony products but however the Sony you know it's too more expensive it's way too expensive and I'm the kind of person that's frugal and especially in this economy you know so today we're gonna unbox this dance through it's the 2018 version and I recently saw it on Amazon and all the reviews were fresh so I was kind of skeptical at first because Wow, this product just came out like a day ago, or two days ago, or three days ago at the time of purchase. And it already has over 30 reviews that are like four or five stars. So let's take a look at this. So here we have Dan Shrew, it comes in a nice package. It looks really professional, it really looks like a high-end product. But I'm pretty sure it's manufactured, oh it's man it says manufactured in Dan Shrew, but I'm pretty sure the device and everything is in China. Probably it means the packaging was manufactured. Dan true so let's open that <clears throat> so here in closer inspection we forgot it, oh there it is the nice mp3 player so what separates this from the high competitiveness of like Sony and Apple and all these things like that is that you're getting this quality mp3 player for like one fourth the price of their high-end products this baby here supports flak I believe mp3 mp4 and at the highest maximum bit rates too, like uh, I think 325 kilobytes. So here we have the Dan Chu, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, really metallic, very beautiful. I'm gonna get you some close-ups. Look at that, it's really nice, I'm surprised. This is the 8 gigabyte version, but do keep in mind you can get a micro SD card and extend the capacity of it to 128 gigabytes, which is more than enough if you're gonna listen to music. I believe that'll be over like 10,000 songs because each song would be like 10 get 10 megabytes <clears throat> um, that's that's pretty much it and then in here we should have some headphones and a handbook and look at that ladies and gentlemen we got oh they're so very generous look at that we've got two not one but two USB cables who even does this who gives two USB cables all the big boy companies they give only one but they gave us two Amazing, Dan Shrew is already a good impression right now. We got these nice white headphones. I mean, wow, who doesn't give headphones these days? I mean, Apple, man, look at these. These are nice. And wow, a pouch too to carry the MP3 player. That's great. And you know, the manual is right here. We're going to take a look at the manual real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's very nice too. It's written like a storybook. Look at that. That's very nice. So very easy to learn. So... We have different languages. We got English, we got Japanese, we got Chinese, we got Dutch, we got France, we got Espanol. We'll just go through and see. Oh, we have a lot. So I believe it supports more than 12 international languages. But I'm an English speaker, so we go ahead and pick English. And I believe you use this. And that's it. We're in. So this is the UI. It already has the incorrect time, but I'm sure you can change that in the settings. So let's pop over to settings. Then we have tools, shutdown settings, audio display, date and time, time settings, set time. Okay, we have to manually set the time. So right now, recording, it's 8.57. So this is going to be a quick review because it got work soon. So yeah, that's it. Oh, we should check the date, huh? probably wrong so let's see if there's any songs on here and then we'll test the bluetooth and the sound quality okay okay we have some sorry this review is kind of long but you know we got to get through this so bluetooth all rise blue here we go your honor please gotta believe what i say what i will tell just the other wow i really like it that was really that blew me out of the water i mean there's no water so it blew me out of the floor yeah forget it okay so let's see how we can put songs in easily 
So apparently it should be able to be recognized on your PC because it'll automatically download the drivers if you have internet. So you plug it in right here from the bottom. Right there, you see this luggage man? Boom. Then we just plug it straight to the PC. You can see that we have it opened. The Dan True and all that. So here, this M M01 is the Dan True right here. See, 8 gigabytes free, but it says 7.74, so keep that in mind. And right in the music, we have these. And you know, I'm gonna make some folders just to keep it organized. So we're gonna make one called etc for etc. And we're gonna put these in there because you know they were pretty good actually. So so how how oh my gosh how crazy your love oh my can't type today. I'm just going to copy that over and then we're going to see if that works. So I just wanted to show you how you can do that. So you just copy and paste over. It's going to take some time. There we go. We got our music in. So I'm in a hurry, but I found this really cool website. It's called Free Rip. So you can go there, freerip.com. And you can download the software. There's a free download or you can go pro right now. It's only $10. I am not endorsed by this, but I just tried it right now because I wanted to get my A-Pink. So here we go, I put in my A-Pink into my CD reader, and check this out guys. It's right here, songs for A-Pink, I'm so sick, alright, don't be silly, stars and you're more than words, I like that kiss, right here. One and six, A-Pink. And then right here I selected output folder, so I'm going to put it on my desktop, and I'm just going to name it con, which stands for converted. So here we have all the songs, the start frame and everything. So what we can do now is let's make this bigger and you just click rip disc. It says six tracks selected, rip disc. This will automatically convert whatever format the song is into MP3. But I believe we can change the quality. So let's go to file, let's go to settings, let's go to output or options. And here you can see you can change some of the settings that if you want to. So we have Oh, output and then coding. So everything looks good here. And coding, we got wave bit for 16 stereo. See WMA quality. We want to bump. You see, we want to bump. Oh, that's the highest one on this thing. All right, okay. So I guess we can just press rip disc, and just like that, our songs are being converted from CD format that probably has some sort of basic encryption into mp3 so as you can see the progress is very slow the reason why it's very slow because in the basic feature of free rip it does not support the multi-core so that there's no multi-threading process that's why it's going to do it all in one process in uh, first in first out which is a basic algorithm in programming so while that we wait for that Actually, we can go check right now the song. So let me go do that. So if you want to convert your CD music and put it into your Dance True MP3 player, it's possible. So you can trust me, guys. Don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, you can trust me. So free rip, free rip. Very good. There's no bloatware. The installation process was easy. It was like three next screens. You select where you want to put it. You wait for it to install, then you click finish. That's literally it. It still says do not disconnect. You see right here? It says do not disconnect. Once it's done, just close. Okay, we're not connected yet. So let's go back to Bluetooth. All right, there we go. All right, so right now it's on radio and it's on lock mode. So you can't really do anything unless you unlock it. So there we go, I unlocked it. And we're on the radio, so... Go to the next songs. So it's charging. 
and it's connected to my speakers. So it works. Alright, so I think some people are complaining about music, and it's fine if you organize stuff, and you actually know how to organize your music, see? Let's go to Love Yourself. Let's play uh, everyone's favorite song. Then you lock it. That way you'll remember your song. You know, you can't click anything. And if you click on the record button, it doesn't work, see? But if you unlock it and you press record, it'll work, which I will not do because it'll obviously work. Here, I'll show you. I locked it. Okay, there we go. Now, just please wait. And it's recording. And now we're going to stop it. And we're not going to save it. So let's go back to radio. You can go to auto tune. Or let's go back to presets. And we have like some presets right here. The so radio works fine. It's charging. And you listen to music. What can you like? And you can go shovel. And you can lock it. There we go. Now anything you click. See, it's fine. Alright ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching this video on the Dan Shrew MP3 player. I'm going to put a description link below if you want to buy one. Right now it's going for around 40 USD, which is pretty dang cheap if you ask me. In this economy, for this kind of quality MP3 player, I highly recommend. There's going to also be a link in the description to my website that goes over more details and other alternatives if you don't want the Dan Shrew. And as always, leave a like, a comment maybe subscribe and i'll see you in my next future videos and have a fantastic day okay oh look at that it even has a clock that's cool bye